my name is Jackie, um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm an osteopath and I've got a keen interest in how we all move um, and how movement, we can use it to either prevent injury or as part of rehabilitation. Certainly anybody that's worked with me in clinic knows that a big part of the treatment isn't just hands-on treatment, but it's looking at body movement and trying to help people help things in their own body. We're going to look at a series of exercises that are going to help the middle of our backs just now. Only mobility exercises and we only do what you feel comfortable. If anything causes pain, then you don't do it. If you're compromised because of a shoulder problem or a knee problem that gives you pain, then you skip that part. So it's only if it makes it feel good. And these exercises should make your back love you. Um, everybody is doing something different just now. We're either sitting too much, working in a different environment or working longer hours. So our backs need to move. And you can use these exercises as part of a, a routine or exercises you're already doing, or you can use them as standalone to do whenever you feel a bit stiff or you feel you have to move your back. Now, the first lot of exercises are standing on your feet, so you don't need any equipment. And when you do stand to do any movement, I want you to start at your feet and just think about your feet for a moment. Um, I want you to think about your feet as tripods. And the tripod really is the base of the big toe, the base of the little toe and your heel. And those three make up this nice triangle that our weight should be distributed across. And when you stand, I want you to think about coming up out of the floor. Try not to think about collapsing into the floor because it changes your posture. So if we use our tripod and we are coming up out of the floor, it automatically lifts up your chest and your shoulders will drop back and your postural muscles will switch on without you having to do anything. And when you're doing any movement work, it's just good to have a solid base to start from. So think about your feet. You don't have to be barefooted. Um, it's perfectly fine to do this work in trainers. Um, so you're going to stand feet about hip distance apart and your knees are relaxed. So I'm not locking my knees out, but also I'm not bending them. So they are just nice and soft and about hip distance apart. And we are concentrating, as I said, on this part of your back here. Anybody that's seen an osteopath in the past or another musculoskeletal practitioner, even if you've went in with low back pain or a shoulder problem or a neck problem, you might have found that they've worked on the middle of your back. And it's quite often when that is stiff um, or not moving as well as it should, it causes problems elsewhere. So these exercises will benefit a wide range of problems. So standing hip distance apart, thinking about your tripod and coming up out of the ground to begin with. And all I'm going to get you to do is to bring your arms up to your side so that you make right angles with your elbows. And all I'm going to do is going to lift one arm up and as far over to the opposite side as I can and bring it back down. Same on the other side. Now, as we do this, what I'm not doing is I am not taking my hips out to the opposite side. I'm trying to leave my hips nice and square and have my spine do most of the side bending, that's brilliant. Just feels nice to lengthen through one side, get your spine to move. Now you can do, you know, eight to 10 repetitions each side or 30 seconds each side. It depends on what makes you feel comfortable. We'll just do a couple more. Good, last one. Perfect. Standing in this position, I'm just gonna bring my arms, elbows so they're there about, um, shoulder width apart out in front of me and I'm going to take one arm out behind me and follow that with my head and then bring it back round to the front. Same on the opposite side. Now as I do this, again I'm leaving my hips behind. So a total body rotation would mean I was taking my hips with me and going further but I want to concentrate the movement into the middle of my back. So I'm just leaving them behind just letting each side open as much as I can. When you do this, it opens up your chest as well. Shoulders are working. Still thinking about my tripod. 
and making sure that I'm thinking about where the weight is on my feet. Good. Side to side. One more each side. We are taking that side back. You can hold it for as long as you feel comfortable. We are literally just mobilising today, so we're not trying to think so much just about stretching. So now I'm in this position, we're going to just take our hips out behind us. So all I'm doing is rocking my body weight back onto my heels and letting my bottom drop out behind. So it looks like this. But as I do it, I'm going to reach down and touch my opposite outside of the ankle. 